there's a teaching gene, it's somewhere in my family and I have got it somewhere. I come from a family of teachers. My mother was a teacher. My older brother married a teacher. My next older brother is a professor. He married a teacher. I married a teacher. My sister's a teacher and my youngest brother married a teacher. So I've kind of been around my whole life people who have talked and thought very explicitly about teaching and about how to do it well. In graduate school, one of the things I started to notice was there was very little explicit dialogue about how you taught and about what worked with students and about how students learned. I think a lot of new teachers come into education and they've had a great experience in the classroom or with the teacher and that experience is what has inspired them to become teachers themselves. And they come into a classroom a lot of time expecting that they're going to replicate whatever it was that they experienced by using the same strategies that that teacher used. You come in expecting to teach the way that you were taught and that can lead to problems. However you like to learn, only a certain amount of people learn that way or like to learn that way. So the most important thing for a teacher to do is to try different things. One of the things I always encourage new faculty members to do is to take a class in something that you've always been interested in. What you're experiencing as a learner might help you think differently about what you're doing in your own classroom. I took a class at the local art museum. It was the first time I had been in a classroom situation as a student in a long time. I really learned a lot from that because those kinds of classes are taught in much more of an individualized instruction one-on-one -on -one basis. It caused me to think a little bit differently about my own teaching. And so from that point on, when I'm teaching writing, I really stopped doing a lot of lecturing about writing techniques and spent a lot more time having students write in the classroom and me sort of walking around, giving people individual pointers on what they were doing, seeing what they were doing in their notebooks. And that came from being a student and sort of seeing how it's one thing to be told what to do, but it's much more helpful to be sitting there doing it, failing at it, and then having someone step in and be able to help you and show you the right way to do it. I do hope that new faculty will take the idea seriously that there are things to be learned about teaching. And that teaching is actually a skill that you can practice, that you can become better at, that there's actually a large body of research about how students learn, and that the more you think about that stuff, actually, the more it really will help you in your classroom. It'll not only help your students learn more, but it will help you figure out what you're doing in the classroom and about why you're doing the things that you do.